In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to disable the NAS over HTTPS in Google Chrome. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the PowerShell snippet that I will be using to disable the DNS over HTTPS. And basically it creates a registry entry in Windows registry. And here you can see the location where the registry entry will be created. Here we can see the value and it will be set to off. And you can also use the snippet to enable it, the value for that is secure and there is also an automatic basically automatic means that the NAS over HTTPS will be available when the DNS server supports it and here you can see the name for the registry entry anyways now I will copy the snippet by clicking on the button right here and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have a Windows virtual machine and currently if I open the Chrome browser then if I go to settings privacy and security and security we can see that DNS over HTTPS is on. Basically, it's on the automatic mode. It's on only when the DNS server supports it. Now let's open the terminal application and run it as administrator. Let's insert the snippet. Let's press enter. Let's close and reopen Chrome. Go back to settings. Privacy and security, security. And now we can see that the NAS over HTTPS is disabled. And that's basically it. Also, like I mentioned before, you can use the snippet to enable the NAS over HTTPS. For example, if I change the value here from off to secure. And then let's create the registry entry. Now, if I close Chrome, reopen it. Go to settings, privacy and security, security we can see that currently it's on. Also, if you want to remove the setting entirely, you can go to registry by typing regedit, running it as administrator, click yes here, then going to local machine, software, policies, Google, Chrome, and here we have the value that the snippet creates, so we can right click it, delete it, yes, and now let's close and reopen Chrome, go back to settings, privacy and security, security, and now we have the option that was available before. It's on with the with your current service provider checkbox. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.